Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Some pretty impressive pictures there from the southern states. And you know, an inch down there means freak out mode, and it didn't help that it fell on a weekday, but the snow that's coming for us is really a, a beneficial snow, I think, for most people, especially the ski areas, and it helps that it's coming on a weekend. There's a few snow showers out there right now, but those are not a big deal. It's a mainly cloudy afternoon. This is the storm that we're watching. You see the blue shading here in uh, northern areas of Georgia, parts of Mississippi and Alabama, and this is the system that is on a northeast track and it's going to come through here tomorrow into tomorrow night. It looks like the snow moves in midday in southern parts of the viewing area, so right along the Massachusetts border, and it'll take a few hours for it to work to the north. The steadiest snow will be in the afternoon and evening tomorrow, and I think the most snow is south and east of the Champlain Valley. Most spots, Burlington, Plattsburgh, and the immediate Champlain Valley really don't get much out of this system, so we'll time it out with future casts. This is midday tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. See, it's snowing in southern Vermont, also across New Hampshire, and the line will gradually lift to the north. So this is 5 o'clock, snowing virtually across all of Vermont, all of New Hampshire. But notice how the back edge is very uh, slow to move northwest. I don't think it moves much farther to the northwest. So most of northern New York is dry. There may be a few flakes in the air, but I don't think there's accumulating snow in places like uh, Malone or Saranac Lake. And then this starts to pull out early Sunday. There will be a few snow showers left over on Sunday, but the accumulating batch of snow will pull out. Here's the snowfall forecast to trace to an inch. So a few flakes in the sky. If some spots are lucky, they'll get an inch in the Champlain Valley. It's one to three inches across southern Vermont and the Northeast Kingdom into parts of New Hampshire. And then the farther east you head, it's more like three to five inches, potentially more in uh, southeastern New Hampshire out into Maine. We'll use Brattleboro as an example. Most of the accumulation occurs in the afternoon hours. There's four o'clock, an inch on the ground, two inches on the ground by six o'clock tomorrow. And then we'll get up to about three inches. But again, it's a day when uh, most people are not traveling. Uh, later on Saturday, it's a, a festive scene that we're looking at. 34 right now in Burlington. So it is uh, on the cold side, a little bit less than uh, the average high for this time of year. And wait till you see what happens going forward. It only gets colder than this. In fact, we're looking at the 30s today, but we have another snow event that we're watching for Tuesday. This could bring a few inches for everyone Tuesday into Tuesday night. And after that, it only gets colder. So whatever we put on the ground is going to last for quite some time. In fact, that 20 you see there next Wednesday is the high, not the low. So we climb to about 20 and that's it. It really looks like winter here for the next seven days. We'll show you here on the seven day forecast, the snow in here tomorrow. It's just a few snow showers left over on Sunday and Monday, but Tuesday would be the second widespread snow that we're looking at and then some of that lingers into Wednesday. That's how it looks for now. Dave, back to you. All right, Tyler, winter's coming there.